Hey you guys, welcome to Melissa Valentine's Nursery. My name is Melissa and today we're doing a multitude of things. Um, I actually have a few ideas for YouTube videos. I just haven't moved my ass to do them. But we're gonna get some of it done. I have, I bought some stuff and I forgot to share with you guys. Um, I'm not feeling my best. My headaches are not getting any better. And I meant to take my blood pressure and I forgot. I did take my blood pressure pill though. Um, and my dog decided to sit right underneath the tripod. Wrapped his toy. His toy is wrapped around the bottom of the tripod. So we're gonna see how this goes. Okay, so I bought some things and I forgot to share them with you guys. Um, I had intentions of sharing it with you guys. Every time I mentioned like Macari or my um, box openings for my babies. I've had every intention of sharing them. I just didn't get there <laughs> because I have such, there it goes. I have such bad ADHD, you guys. Like it's terrible. Um, and I've already had so much medicine. Like, anyway, so I have so many ideas for videos, but today we are gonna do like, um, if I can find it, a collection challenge. Some of these I made up. And some of these, I guess, come off of other challenges. I don't really know, you guys. Like, I didn't steal them from anywhere. It was just stuff like, you guys, when I like, get work and stuff, and I have downtime, I'll jot my ideas down. Like, I have papers, but I don't know what goes with what. I have no idea what goes with what. And I can barely see because I don't like to see the ring in my glasses. Okay, so I don't like to see the rings in my glasses. But if I have to use them, I will. You are joining me today with something. Oh, that was my blood pressure cup that I didn't use. You are joining me today with the beautiful Frances. I got her last week. And this little baby has been in my room with me, along with a couple other babies. She's just so beautiful. When I, her artist did an amazing job, amazing job. Um, I have her all bundled because she's been with me. Um, I did weight her. She was a little, you know, for my style, a little underweight. <laughs> um, I gave her head a little weight and. Um, her body a little weight so she's uh weighted pretty good um so but i love her this is baby francis this is the kelsey sculpt um and get the dog hair off of there what is going on here so she's cute and i actually changed her a few days ago and put her in the old outfits of paris since she is francaise from france <laughs> I have a French baby, oui, oui, darling. And I kept, um, her artist makes her hats and she even came with this bow, but I just combined them because I was like, how cute. So she's in her outfit. I had this outfit here. I had this outfit here that I never used. I never even took the tags off of it. So she is just a doll. Okay, so we're gonna put her back in this cradle that was actually being used for another baby, but I, retired that baby from that cradle just for this video and we're gonna put Frances in there and then she is joined in this room by the beautiful Olivia and Olivia has been with me for quite a while um and she's in here with me I actually picked her up the other day and brought her in my bedroom it's her turn to get attention with the others um so Olivia is beautiful this is the Felicity sculpt um so she's with us today. Um, she is also beautifully painted. Okay. Now these babies that you're seeing are not going anywhere. I have forever babies and these darlings, these precious darlings are not going anywhere, darling. They're not, they're just not. I actually was going to take, did I say this right? You guys, my headache's really bad, and I'm trying to be positive because we are not our emotions and we have the glass half full. Okay, so you guys, I put a, I, I, 
listen, I play it off. I put the sweater on over my nightgown because I couldn't get out of bed. But I'm here. I'm here. All right. And then what would Monday be without Missy? Missy Monday today because today's Monday. Missy Monday. Oh, man. You, won't, you don't want to take your passy? This is Missy in all her glory with me. And this is the one we're gonna change today. I have a cube with all of her clothes in it. And we're gonna change the wonderful Missy today. And she has her teddy bear, Timu, you guys. Her Timu teddy bear. But at work, they're telling me to say it's something else. Timu, I don't know, they're telling me to say it's something else, but it's gonna be Timu to me. So anyway, we're going to change Missy today. Um, it's about time. And actually, my plan was to take her out today because it is a, for February, it is a beautiful 70 degrees today. And I was going to take her out. I was going to braid her hair, take her out. <clears throat> I was going to try to braid her hair. She got short hair, you guys. Now she looks like a paper boy. <laughs> but I was going to take her out. But... I just can't do it. I almost didn't put my ring light on, but I was like, what? No, I'm gonna, I'm not skimping on my video on you guys. So we're gonna change her today and we're gonna do our challenge too. And I was reflecting on when I used to do videos when I very first started doing, okay, you guys, way long time ago, this channel was a monetized channel. I did like daily vlogs, right? Well, um, I stopped doing YouTube for a while and uh, I came back doing dolls and I was very professional on my doll channels and I'm learning just to be me that I don't have to like, you know, hi, my name is Melissa. Yes. Um, today I'm learning to get a little more relaxed with it, I believe, but I was contemplating this stuff, um, you know, so. We're going to change her. Let's see what we're going to put her in as we talk about the challenge. This challenge is just about your collection in general. Um, I did want to do the spring challenge. I think Encrypted Angels did it. And I want to say Dolls in the Cradle did it. And I don't know. There's a whole crowd that did it. And I, I wanted to do it. But we're going to do the challenge. As I talk about stuff and pull out her out of outfit. Took me seven, almost eight minutes to get over here. All right. So, first question. My Reborn Collection Challenge. Do you prefer vinyl or silicone babies? Well, I actually prefer vinyl. I like the silicone. They're cute. I um, had my fill with them. Um, it was mostly the Amazon ones because I can't afford, you guys, I can't afford this expensive stuff. All right. So I do prefer Vital and I actually sold all my silicones. I, in my collections of life, I had four full, I had four babies that were big, like normal, 14 inches to, I think it was 21, four of them. And then I have the two minis. So I am down to one 14 inch and I'm keeping her and my two minis. All right, when I bought, my Paradise Gallery, oh baby, Bailey. I don't even remember him. And he is not going anywhere. He is just precious. I actually bought pacifiers. And I tell you guys in the video that I bought them because I either paid shipping or I spent a little more, basically the same amount of shipping. Well, maybe I spent a lot. I had to make that amount to get free shipping. And I said, I'm going to walk away with something. And there was nothing. I wanted to get the bottles and I wanted to get this, but they were sold out of the bottles. So these are actually the Paradise Gallery's um, pacifiers. So we're gonna, I'm gonna open them up, give them a little review on this camera, on this, this video. All right. So as I open this, we're gonna talk about this challenge. Numero dos, authentic replica or both? I am not a reborn snob. Um, I don't mind. The, look, mm -hmm. this is my only replica left. My only, oh, I have the silicone. 
But this is my only, I open this box all jigamajoo, jigamajunky, whatever. But anyway, this is my only replica besides my, um, let's put them down too, besides my uh, silicone. But that's it. I have all authentic. So. so I don't really care what you do. I do what I feel. My, my collection has to come down a little bit. It has to like, I have to reduce my collection. So I pick and choose what I get rid of. So now I got uh, a couple handfuls of Authentic Reborns and down to, you guys, if I could afford an Authentic Toddler, I would. But right now my budget, you know, is even lower. I have a leaf coming. I shouldn't have told you, but I have a leaf coming. Um, and I got him for an amazing price. Amazing, like less than 150 even with shipping <laughs> like he's he's not like painted to the nines you know but he is gently painted and i decided i like him and he's got painted hair and i was like you know what i can practice my reborning not my reborning my rooting because i'm you guys know i'm painting dolls i'm learning how to root i'm actually in the midst of rooting my um mikey i don't know if you know him he's a little biracial cuddle baby but I'm gonna root him and I'm gonna take a chance on him because I really like him and I'm gonna keep him. And we're just running on, so I opened up this box really bad. But this is what the pacifiers look like to um, Paradise Galleries. Okay. I should have opened this better, but I didn't. What they look like. Okay. And, um,. Doll face assorted pacifiers, interactive, mini magnetic, magnetic. Ooh, that might look good. Oh, well, I don't think my uh, small little silicone is magnetic pacifier or anything. The stem and a frosted tip. So like they got this over here, you see? I guess that'll open like for the halfway open dolls. Okay, maybe not. Cause I got some dolls. Okay, yeah, no, I just have them on. All right, all right. I should have brought some Paradise Galler babies here. Maybe it's not meant for the, I mean, cause the ones I have, their mouths are open. Like Billy Badass and Bailey. Okay, so there's that. And then you got your standard, you know, kind of looks like the, Am the ones that Amazon's gives you. Right, okay. Nothing to write home about for that one. And then, um, my God. and then this, which I have nothing that could use this, I don't think. And then, and then, and then, and then, we got the mini one, which is just a mini little itty bitty little thing, okay? And then we have this, which is supposed to make noise. How does it do it? You open it. Oh, it has a noise. Hold on. Yeah, I took, hold on, hold on, hold on, you guys. I took this piece off of it. This was over it. I take this piece off of it that I can't take off of it because it won't let me. I don't know why. You hear it? All right. I'm not impressed. Um, I'd rather make my own. So, I can't even get the cover back on. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna use these. So, here's the deal. Y'all know, I'm like 160 or whatever, 170 away from a thousand subscribers. I'm doing something special for all of you. Um, I got things, things. I got things I'm gonna do. Things I'm gonna do. So stay tuned because I don't know yet what I'm gonna do, but I, what I do know is I'm not opening the second one up. And I do know I'll make it part of my giveaway because I do have giveaway coming up. Actually my first giveaway. And I'm actually gonna fix this box 
And I'll probably do a giveaway for this one too. Not, you know, cause some people, somebody might like this, you know, maybe somebody collects Paradise Gallery Babies a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, and so what I'm gonna do is put this box back. Someone's gonna get an open box, but it's also not gonna be used material. So one of these boxes are open for my video purposes and one is not going to be open. So this is, each one is a giveaway. Um, which there's your first glimpse into my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, next question, number three. Baldy, painted, or, mo or some type of hair? I don't have any bald babies. I don't hate bald babies because that'd be sound really bad to say I hate bald babies. I just don't, they don't do nothing for me. But I like painted babies, but I really prefer a nice root job. I like my babies nicely rooted. And I only have one, if we're talking about authentic reborns, that's not paradise galleries and stuff. We're talking about just like artist rendered handmade dolls talking about. One I have that's nicely rooted and that's my Alyssa sculpt and she's in the other room. So I do prefer hair. I am trying to get there with rooting. I'm getting better with every baby. So I will have two we hair babies once I finish old Mikey over there. All right. So then you guys, we're going to continue on with things I have purchased that I have not told you guys about. Over here, we have a Nordstrom outfit from Macari that I got really cheap, you guys. Like spring is coming. This is like oranges and flowers or pears. Like you can't even see it. Pears, oranges, and flowers. Look at the print. I'm trying to show you the print. Okay. And it comes with a little hat. And um, this was Macari. One size. One size. I guess I'll put it. It's Nordstrom. And uh, so I'll probably put it on one of my babies. Um, I did not pay $32 for this. Okay. So that was something I bought that I really liked. It was springtimey. I actually, to be honest, thought about Olivia over here. Come over here, Olivia. Get over here. Get over here with your mother. Come on. Okay. She's sleeping, but I do love her to death. So this is going to be her outfit at some point. And then on Macari, I have not even opened it. I reviewed it. Didn't even open it. I like this because it was simple and actually it was supposed to be Valentine's, but I forgot I even had it. I'm like five second Tom, which everything. So I purchased this for really inexpensive and it comes with a pair of these. So it looks pretty big. Any bigger it fit me. So we know who it's going to. All right. And then look how nice, but oh God. It's Gap. Oh, you know what? That is a big drawers for three months. So the only baby I have that's a female that's three months right now, Lila. Lila is by herself right now. This is a Gap outfit for three months. So this would be a Lila outfit and I should have put it on her for Valentine's Day. Damn it. And the back has heart buttons. And it has little hearts in the front but it's still a nice little spring dress but i should have put i thought to myself i don't have anything for her for valentine's day whoops still cute all right and then so you remember the last video that was an actual scheduled video that was a scheduled video and it had a boy silicone in it. Before that video even came out, I had to give him back. I had to give him back. Um, it wasn't doing it for me. His face was too flat. But I had bought this for him. <laughs> it's a little outfit. I might turn it into a girl outfit. Maybe make it be part of giveaways. I don't know. It's a preemie, micro preemie outfit. It was. I got it from Target. And I actually did pay full price for this. Okay. I had to pause my video a minute. 
And like that, I'm back. Didn't even know I was gone. All right. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And my dog knocked into you. I'm sorry. They knocked into you again. Okay, so get it together, Jack. Get it together. So next question number four. four. Cuddle baby or limbs? Mm, this is a hard one. I do prefer my babies to have limbs. But it's nice to have a cuddle baby. You know what I'm saying? I got two cuddle babies, and both of those are cuddly as cuddly can be. Um, I do like them. They feel really nice. One of them is weighted amazing. Um, but I like to see the babies, too. And I look at them more than I cuddle them at times. Um, I mostly cuddle my... Paradise Gallery and Ashton Drake toddlers and this one here. Um, but I do, when I hold the babies, like hold them, hold them, I do prefer cuddle baby. When I collect vinyl, so what do I prefer? I guess I could, vinyl. What am I saying? Limbs. I do prefer to buy babies with limbs, okay? But it's nice to have that cuddle baby. I'm not gonna lie, it's nice to have that cuddle baby. All right, what are we gonna dress you in, little girl? Let me go look at the box, the cube of her stuff. All right, what do we got? Cause it's getting warmer out. It's gonna be 70 degrees, but also she is gonna lay down with me. So I don't wanna put, we already did the unicorn outfit. Um, I don't know if I wanna put her in a dress just yet. I don't know what half this stuff. Remember when, um. I had the Macari haul and I had bought all these clothes for her. I don't know what I even bought, but we're gonna look and see because I'm not prepared, you know? We got this simple shorts and t-shirt we could put her in. It's not summer yet, it says summer. I don't wanna put her in that yet. But I want her to be in something comfortable for when we lay down, you know? Um, I could put her in this isn't working because I can't see what I'm doing. I could put her like a little nightgown for when we and her lay down because I'm going to be going to bed in a couple hours. This is Monday and on Mondays, since I'm up the weekend, I'm awake like a, like you guys. Saturday when I get home from work, I take a nap, but I'm up. Sunday I'm up, I go to bed at night. So I woke up today and my head was killing me. I fell asleep again, but, um, I'll be going to bed. I'll be taking something for sleep at about 1.30. And probably by 2.33 o'clock, I'll be knocked out until 9. And that's it. My work week starts. So here we go. Five, do you have a style to your wardrobe for your reborns? I realized, and we'll talk about this as I um, change her. I realized as I was looking for more like varied clothes for babies, my girls, my girls, I have a lot of pink. I like the soft pinks, even for myself. Look, look at me, soft pink. I like the soft pink, her boots, soft pink. So um, I'm gonna take the necklace off because I don't wanna feel it when I'm laying next to her. Um, yeah, so I noticed uh, a lot of soft, look, soft pink. I like the soft pinks on the girls. Um, you know, I don't like anything too harsh, you know. Um, and the boys, I don't really have a style for the boys, I'm going to be honest. I do not have a style for my boys. Um, at least I don't think I do. At least I don't think I do. Um, we're going to let her feet hang out because she hasn't had her feet. We're going to air your toes out, your big Hey. Um, oh, don't look, don't look. Uh, so the next one, numero seis, role play, aesthetic collector, therapy baby for fun. So what type of collector do I role play? Do I just collect and put them on a shelf? You know, some people just do YouTube and they do it. They only change their babies for the sake of YouTube. So I'm going to be honest. No, I don't change my babies for the sake of YouTube. 
Otherwise, she, let's see, no. She wouldn't have what she's on, have on. I did that one day when I got home from work. So I like to make my babies look cute when I have the time. Um, and I also like to, I'm not a role player. I like to, ch I think I like to change them, you guys. I like to change them and cuddle play, cuddle play, cuddle with them, you know? Um, not so much role play. Now I'm going to be honest, my role play, when I do, I may give them a voice and be like, you know, but as far as like the role plays that I have done on YouTube with you guys, that was for YouTube. Like when uh, I think I did one where one of my old replicas, one of my old Maddie's went into the chicken coop. We went camping with a Maddie and a Maggie, uh, sculpt. And I think one time ago she ate out of my refrigerator, you know, tea party with the babies or eating with the babies or day in the life of or whatever it is I did. I can't remember. That was for YouTube because I don't go to that extreme. Um, I also like to take photos. So the type of collector I am, change them, cuddle them. Like I would keep her like this. Oh, come here, baby girl. I'll cuddle you, baby girl. I'll keep her like, I could keep her like this. Um, but th that's basically it primarily. Um, I don't, I don't go to town with them. I think they're cute. Actually, I have. I actually have left my house with dolls. Um, I will do that. I got to see what I got going on over here. I have left my house. I forgot what I was looking for. Oh, I wanted to brush her hair. I have left my house with my baby. Babies. Um, but, even, like, off camera. Off camera, I have. Um... Makes noise. Look at this. Freaking rings. The rings, the rings, the rings. Yeah. So I have I have left the house with the babies without like uh, you know. Without filming. I've taken them to my mom's house, taken to the store, food lion, you know. But um so that's that. But I don't go to like way ends of the world and, you know, make a whole scenario. You know what I mean? All right. Am I a closet collector or am I open? You guys, I am an open collector. Um, I, people at work know that I collect babies. Um, they know that I have a YouTube channel. They know that I take my babies out, my family members. Some of them think I am nuts. I don't care. Um, you know, so they'll, you know, like I, I wanted to take her out today. I just can't do it, you guys. Like I wanted to, maybe I still, I don't know. I, I just, my head's feeling a little better because I'm actually enjoying this with you guys. Um, I'm looking for something to put her hair up with. So, yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying this with you guys. Um, I me and yeah, and and after this, me and Sandra, we're going to try to get together because we're supposed to collab together. And if it goes well, you may see me again, probably on her channel and my channel. But I'm just saying, like, you know, because we collabed, that's what I'm looking for, for something to put her hair up in and something like, um, I, I know I got booties for like sock booties. I don't know what I do with them. You know what I mean? I don't know what I do with them. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm just making her comfortable for bed because me and her, we have a long week ahead of us. I got to work. And um, so, okay, I'm an open collector. I'm not a closet collector. Next one. Uh, wheat. Isn't that French for eight wheat? Do you have a crowd of collectors you hang out with for meetups? No. I have a YouTube follower who I correspond with on email, Diane. Um, me and her just, you know, general day stuff. You know, she'll ask me how work went. She'll give me ideas on like videos, which is in progress for some of it. Ooh. Um, and 
She's been a sweetheart. And then I have Sandra Frozen in Time Reborns that everybody knows about. Everybody, everybody, everybody wants to be a cat. Remember from Aristocrats, if you guys were raised with Disney. So, okay, that's my crowd of collectors that I hang out with. Um, yeah, I don't have buddies. I would love if anybody, y'all know I'm in South Carolina. If anybody is in South Carolina, in my area, or close to, let me know. We can take the babies out. We can take the toddlers out. We can take the newborns out. Yeah, yeah. I would like to do that. Like on a weekend, we don't have to go overnight anywhere. Just meet, like even if we're a few hours, just meet, hang out, do lunch, you know? Even just for lunch, do lunch and walk the park or we don't have to spend a lot of money. I I'm down with McDonald's, yo. I'm down with the, you know, I'm down with a value menu. You know, I'm too, I ain't too good. I ain't too good to eat the McDonald's. I don't like McDonald's too much, but I'm not too good. Hey, I can appreciate a good cheeseburger every now and then. You know, a Big Mac or, you know, I can, I can appreciate a double cheeseburger every now and then. No mustard, but I can appreciate it. I only like my mustard on like good burgers, not McDonald's burgers. Something about McDonald's burgers. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. So next. Um, Neuf, right? Nine in French. I know a little bit of French. I know more Spanish than anything. I can fluently read Spanish, but I cannot speak it because I don't listen to it enough. But I have been doing Spanish since, I've been doing Spanish since um, before high school. I actually, this is a fun fact about me. I have, um, I did Spanish. Actually, in high, in middle school, oh my God, ADHD. In middle school, I did Spanish. And then in high school, we had to take Latin, like the Greek, you know, the ancient and classical times. Waste. I'm sorry, it's a waste. We had to take it. Part of my curriculum for my Catholic high school I went to. And then um, I switched over to Spanish. And... Uh, I learned Spanish and then by the time I was done with high school, I was in Spanish for honors. And when I went to, I actually went to USC upstate university of uh, Southern university of South Carolina, not Southern California. I've never been to California. I don't even know why that came out of my mouth. Um, university of South Carolina but I went to a satellite campus and I stayed on campus um, in a town called Spartanburg. And I stayed on campus there and I was in Spanish again. That was my minor. I majored in pre-chiropractics actually. And I wanted to be a chiropractor so bad. I still would have done it, but life got in the way and I had to change life up for a new life that had come into my life. So um, I wish I would have become a chiropractor because that was more something I wanted to do. Um, nursing's fine, but I really wanted to be a chiropractor. I can't get her to sit on me right. I can't get these pigtails right. But I wanted to be a chiropractor more than anything. Um, not that it has anything to do with this challenge. So let's continue. <laughs> Number nine. <laughs> Noif. In French. Boys or girls, preferences. So when I was first into collecting, I did girls. I like girls. Um, and then I had just too many girls, too much pink. And um, she's so cute. So I started with the boys. Um, my first boy, I wanted a boy so bad. My first boy, if you know, my little baby Luca, which is my Emily sculpt, uh, beautifully painted. She's, he's in the other room right now. He came to me as a girl, but I wanted a boy so bad that I made him into a boy. And he's not really that bad as a boy looking. And actually, he can pull off both genders. So, um, 
that's that. I did, I do, I still prefer girls, to be honest. Um, so, how many girls do I have? I think the girls still outnumber the boys. Maybe. It depends how you look at it. I've got, let's continue. I think my girls outnumber boys. Favorite artist. If you have a favorite artist, who is your favorite artist? I don't know. Now, I'm a little partial because I do love my Sammy Joe sculpt and he's in my room. I paid good money for him. I mean, I paid six plus shipping and he does not get tampered with very much. Um, she That was from um, Alicia's Angels, Alicia Gardner. And um, I paid good money for him and his, his I'm gonna be honest, his art is beautiful. I don't go studying other artists half the time. I don't even pay attention when people give credit where it's due. I just get on there and I like to see the babies and I like to be a part of the conversation. But when you guys tell me an artist, it goes in one ear and out the other. And I only know the artists that paint my babies. Um, let me see. April self painted her and that's from Blanchard Babies. Um, Beloved Babies Nursery painted her. Um, oh my God. Her name was Stacy. I'm sorry, girl. I can't remember. Beloved Babies Nursery. And Precious Reborns Nursery, Natalie Frankenridge. And the only reason I remember that name is because that was my first reborn and I still have her. And I said her name a million times. Um, so I will be honest, each artist has their own flavor in, um, their own way of painting. I noticed in all of my babies, so Sal is the most real, I could tell that artist spits babies out like crazy. She knows what she's doing. Like a lot of them know what they're doing, but I'm just saying like, she has a particular way and she does details and you know, but April self is really good. If you like the skin, uh, a certain way. She does that baby. It's not modeling, but it is. And it has that variation of color. When you guys see me pick up her. And then this one here, she has that smooth look on her, but it still has color. Um, with her, she had that yellowing, kind of like an olive, but yellowing. But because a lot of babies in my family, we get jaundice a lot. So for me, we relate to our babies by what we know and what we're conditioned to know and what we're used to. So for her, for me, in my eyes, yes. Uh, Beloved Babies Nurseries, Nursery did a good job. Um, and then my Natalie Frankenberg from Precious Reborns Nursery, Frankenbridge from um, Precious Reborns Nursery, she, um, she did a great job because she does a lot of coloring and like, she gives that baby like pink looks in certain places and she does good rooting. Um, but then like I have, I can't remember the nurseries of the other babies. I want to say, I, I don't want to say because I don't want to lie. But anyway, I have Luca who's painted very well. And I see her name, but I don't know how to say it. It's like I, Ingrid or Ingrid, Ingrid's nursery or she's from the Philippines and she does a good job. She paints the hair. Okay, let's continue on. Favorite sculpt. I don't have one. I don't have one. Um, I really do not have one. Uh, but I could tell you that there are sculpts I don't like. And the dog has to go out. So, Excuse me. All right. And then, what else do I have in this paper? 12. Asleep or awake? I prefer the asleep babies only because when they're awake and they're just laying there, girl, keep your head up. When they're just laying there, they look good. They don't look alive. They look like, like Sandra had made a comment about one of her babies being too real looking and she was like, when's it gonna wake up? I like them to be asleep. They look peaceful. That's how I like my babies, even in real life. Maybe not permanently asleep, but you know what I mean. All right, 13. Infants, toddlers, kids, what type of age do you like your babies? 
I like mine infants, newborns, preemies, the smaller crowd, the smaller babies. I'm actually having tons of fun with this one. And my Billy and Bailey, I cuddle them. Lila stays beside my bed. That's my Ashton Drake's Lila, the cutest little baby. Um, so I actually prefer my little ones. I do. Um, with the exception of her. And I told my son that, you know, because he was like, Mom, you need to purify your collection. This is not against replicas and stuff. I said, would I love to have a growner, a grown more kid, like a bigger, bigger toddler authentic? Of course. Can I afford it? No. Right? Okay. Sorry. Do you buy, sell, trade, collect, or paint reborns? What do you do? Well, I do it all. I buy, I sell, I trade, and of course I collect, and I paint. I do it all, and I root their hair. Now, painting and rooting is newer for me, but I'm trying my best. 15. Yeah, I think there's like 20. 15. Bountiful Baby, McPherson's, Trueborn or other. Okay. So, basically, where do you prefer your kids to come from, your babies to come from? I like the major companies like and if you're into the replicas and that's all you have like what you like NPK you know Wham Dolls what do you like I prefer I do like the Bountiful Baby Kids people say they have an odor some people say they're creased too much the McPherson's babies I realize they are they feel to me they feel they look like less realistic to me or something you know like I don't know I feel like there's not enough lines to just make them. Now he has to come in. You understand? You want him? He's old. He's 12 years old. He's got a, maybe another good year. He's in and out. He's a grumpy old man. You can have him. To have him. I'll give you the bowl. I'll give you the food. I'll tell you about what he can and can't have. You can have him. Because he doesn't want to go out when you want to put him out. But you know what? We still love our animals here regardless, right? We do. And just like that, he is back. Okay, so I do prefer Bountiful Baby. They have more, I like the creases. Sandra, my friend, does not like the, the creases. I like them because I think it adds some realism as long as people don't paint the crap out of them. And I learned not to do that. At first I did, um, but I'm learning, you know, the ways of the reborn world. Um, McPherson's, I don't know about Trueborns. I don't know enough, enough about it. And when I do get, my dolls from Amazon. I want to see NPK. I don't know what she was. I want to say NPK, but I'm not sure. Maybe she's Wham doll. I don't know. I did not alter her in any way, by the way. I just changed her gender. All right. 16. What type of doll do you, you like? Like, uh, okay, so 15 was more like the reborns and stuff. <clears throat> like the... I don't know what you call it. Maybe where they come from? Where 16 is more, do you like, maybe this is a whole nother section of baby. 16, do you like Paradise Galleries, Ashton Drake, like the Middleton Dolls, Madame Alexander, American Girl, Blythe Dolls, boy, Ball Jointed Dolls? Like, is there another type of baby that you are fond of collecting? Like, I have Ashton Drake, oh, here we go. Come here, baby girl. Come on, come on. You see her I'm trying to come through? Come on, this is a breakthrough for me. Okay, you wanna come? So I have Paradise Galleries. Luna Bird, come here. I have Paradise Galleries and I have Ashton Drake. I don't collect anything else. I would like to try out Blythe dolls. Come here, Luna. This cat, real quick, was my husband's baby. This is Luna, she's very temperamental. And, okay, 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 it's okay, baby girl. She's very temperamental and she never came to me. And actually, I didn't even know I had a cat. I mean, I knew I had her, but you're gonna knock on my tripod now. I didn't know I had her. I knew I had a cat, but she was never around. I never seen her. And when my husband would wanna come, when he would come home from work, she'd be waiting for him. And now she has no choice but to love me because it's me and my son. So when she feels like it, she comes and gets some love. I'm like, I have a blanket on my legs. She's in the blanket, in the blanket, on the, in the floor between my legs. She likes to go under blankets. She likes to be warm. So there's a little 
something more now she left about me i had a cat that never loved me and now she has no choice i feed her i do what i can i even like buy her treats and stuff and so it's it's we're getting there that was a breakthrough when you see her come to me have you guys ever seen the cat literally come to me that's a breakthrough we've been working on this relationship so yeah paradise galleries ashton drake and i used to when i was looking at the babies like and wanted to branch out to that type of stuff the ashton drake dolls i thought i liked better but the more i get the paradise galleries dolls like i even sold an ashton drake because i had a couple and i was like mm, i like my paradise galleries better now ashton drake i love lila i don't like that her arms have the uh you move one arm, the other one goes up. I get what that's called. And my dog doesn't like it either, apparently. You hear him? All right. 17. Do you have a nursery, a corner, or a cabinet that you keep your babies in? Everybody knows I have a nursery. Um, I mostly keep them in there when I'm not interacting with them. You guys know I film everywhere. Um, my bedroom, my living room, my nursery. I also keep the babies that I'm interacting with. I keep them in my bedroom. Um, because that's where we do play time a lot of times my nursery I go in there I'll change them but most of the time that's like where I film or lately when I when my husband was here we had our own little areas I stayed in that nursery a lot but now that it the house is just me and my son I'm all over the house um 18 number of dolls lord jesus I'm not going to count my kinbees I have four and I'm not going to count the shelf of Cabbage Patch um, and I'm not going to count my two Behringers. Let's take that out. All right. I've got Lennox, which is my, which is a reborn that I don't know who the sculpt is. I know, but I'd have to look it up. Um, and then I have my silicone. I have Adelaide, which is my Alyssa. I've got Brooklyn, who's my Brooklyn sculpt. I've got this little bunker right here, Missy. I've got Felicity, which is Olivia. I have her, Francis. I've got Badass Billy from Paradise Galleries. I've got Bailey from Paradise Galleries. I've got Mikey, which is who I'm rooting. I've got Luca. I've got Lila. 12 and I've got one on the way. Oh, and I got Jenny. So 13, 14. That's not including my cabbage patches and my, um, my kinbees. That's a hard pill to swallow. Okay. <laughs> I don't even want to count them anymore. 19. Do you have a favorite? I do. My first one is never going anywhere. And my favorites... I have favorites and then I have temporary favorites, okay? So the one, Sal is my favorite favorite and that is my Sammy Joe sculpt. And then my other favorite favorite is Adelaide. I don't touch her anymore. That's my Alyssa sculpt because that was my first one. But my other favorites are Olivia and Francis. She's my favorite, like secondary. But, um, and then of course, of course, I, I love my Bailey and my Billy and my Lila. You know, you guys. But the first four are like favorite. You got your favorites and then you got your favorites and your favorite. Favorite. My four favorites and then I got my favorites and then. Okay. 20. Dun, dun, dun. You guys, the video is almost over. This is a pretty lengthy one. Why do you collect? So I had babies. I didn't collect per se, but I had babies that were put away in storage. Um, and I still do. I have porcelain dolls put up from my childhood. I have I actually have like a reborn baby, like a nice from back then. Not, not like an authentic, I don't know what it is, but it's put away. It's really nice and I'm not taking it out. Um, and it was from my childhood. Um, I have, I don't have any Barbies, but I played Barbie, but I don't have any. Um, so I have those and that was like a childhood thing. But as I got older, life gets rough. You guys, I have 
I have in my life been diagnosed off and on with several things. Um, I actually have a diagnosis floating around, um, not in my current medical regular, my previous, um, I have OCD and it's how I like things particular, you know, way. When I was like 19 or 20, I, my gallbladder, we did not know my body was rejecting it because it was not fully developed, right? It never finished developing. Um, so my body was rejecting it and I suffered for a year. They were telling me it's the flu, blah, 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 blah. So my mom had me committed to a behavioral center and I spent um, two weeks of therapy there and they gave me diagnoses. That's when I got my ADHD. That's when I got my OCD. Okay. So um, anxiety, depression, things like that. I am not on any, well, I am on medication for my uh, depression because life hit me hard this past year, really hard. Okay, so um, I have anxiety and I get depression and I can ruminate my thoughts and on the same topic over and over and over and ruminate them and sit on them and it caused me sickness to where like I get nauseated. Um, and that's maybe contributes to my physical ailments, but my physical ailments is basically something unrelated really. Um, so the babies help, they're an escape. Um, they help with my anxiety, my depression. Um, and I also do other things. Uh, I read, I read. I'm doing a 52 book, yeah, 52 book challenge this year. And I was doing really well and I'm falling behind. So if you're, if you're readers, you guys, I read. Um, I read and something else about me you guys don't know. I also collect literature, um, certain editions and a lot of literature from, I mean, legitimately from Victorian era or uh, Edwardian or uh, I have some from like the 1700s but I have books in Ziploc bags that are older than my grandmother. Um, and my grandparents are all still alive and they're like in their 90s. So I have, that's, that's another thing. Um, I collect um, certain books, um, antiques, way antique books. I wonder how much I even have worth in that. And maybe one day I'll show you guys. Um, that is something I do collect and um, you know, so that's something aside from the reborn thing. And I haven't been actively collecting books, um, those types of books. I've been more doing reborns, babies lately, because um, I'm focusing on my painting and my rooting. But if I ever come across something that I want, um, I think I have like a certain edition of like an Edgar Allan Poe, like a first edition. Like I do collect things like that um, when I get the opportunity. So that is the challenge, you guys. I will put the challenge questions in my description and I hope you guys participate. Um, tag it as my Reborn Doll Collection challenge. And um, you know, so, and if you guys feel free, feel free to, you know, tag me in it or whatever. And um, I'd love to see if you guys do this as well. So tag me in yours. I love to watch it. I know this was a lengthier video than usual, but hey, we talked about a lot. We covered a lot of things in here. So you guys, as always, it was fun. Love you all. Thank you. I couldn't have done this without all of you. We are about to be at a thousand subscribers. I have wonderful, wonderful plans. Um, they are in the making. Once I hit that thousand, we're going to start making plans for giveaways. Um, we're going to do something awesome. So, and then also I meant to go live this weekend, but I want to actually plan it. So a lot of you actually have the opportunity to watch. I know last time it was like last minute, same day, I'm going live, I'm going to try this out, blah, 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 blah. but it was great. So anyway, um, I'm actually surprised I didn't get, a dinged on YouTube for it. But anyway, we had a great time, right? You guys, the ones that were there, we had a great time and anybody that saw it. So that I got to do a live at some point. It's coming up, but, um, I just want to say thank you guys. 
Thank you for subscribing. Let's get those subscribers up. And until next time, love you guys. Thank you.